Hey everybody, I'm Steve Moore and we're going to try our very first video review. I thought um, give a little reviews on some of the products that we here at the store like, our staff members, shoes we've tried, products we've tried. So this is our first attempt. I hope you enjoy it. Um, today I'm going to review the new Brooks launch. This is the launch four. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I love running in my Newtons and I do. Um, it's my favorite running shoe that I've had in a long, long time. I've gone from the Gravities to the Fates. Um, pretty much you name it, I've tried them. I really do enjoy them. But, um, I've upped my mileage a little bit lately and I just wanted to try something different that had a little more cushion to it. Um, I love my Newtons, but they're not the most cushioned shoe. Uh, low heel to toe drop at four and a half millimeters. I'm um, a much more firm shoe, a uh, very responsive shoe. So I thought I would just give this a try, especially because I haven't run in Brooks shoes in a long time and uh, I wanted to give them a try. I had never run the, the launch in my whole life, so I thought it'd be fun to play with. Um, first thing I noticed right away was coming from a shoe with a real low heel to toe drop, I definitely felt myself up higher through the heel. It has a 10 millimeter offset, so uh, I could definitely tell that immediately. Um, but I thought I would feel clunky in it. I thought it would feel really heavy. I thought I would feel very flat. Um, you know, sometimes when you're running, you kind of hear that stompy sound when you're hitting the ground. I didn't have that at all in the shoe. I felt almost, I almost felt like it had a little bit of Newton in it. I felt myself being sprung forward. Um, and I know that's what they're trying to do. Even the rubber they use is supposed to be a very, um, a very responsive rubber through the forefoot here. It's a, and you can tell. You can actually really feel it. And uh, I was getting the cushion and the responsiveness, and uh, I, I enjoyed it. A couple things I didn't love about it. I found it to run a little more narrow. A little narrow for me. It could just be me. Um, but I've noticed some of the Brooks shoes compared to what I remember back in the day. They're just running a pinch narrower than I prefer. Like the new Glycerins, for example. I I can't run in them. They're just. Eh bug me. But uh, coming from my Newtons, which are quite wide, these were wider than most of the shoes that, I, that I'm used to running in, but still just a little narrower than I like. Um, the other thing I don't love about it is the kind of the color. I, I guess they're going for sort of a retro -y look, if you can see it. Um, I don't care for that. I'm not a big fan of that. Could be me, because I'm old, so everything is retro. Uh, I just, I'm not a big fan. But things I do like about it a lot is uh, I can tell it's going to be pretty durable. I, I didn't bring my stinky one in here, um, but I've got about 65 miles on it. I've been monitoring the bottom of it. It still looks brand new out of the box. So, you know, for a shoe as light as it is, um, I, I don't see any reason why I can't get that 400 mile, 500 mile range out of it as they're advertising. So, I, I'm pretty happy with that thus far. Um, and also, the price point is really good 100 bucks, $100 shoe. We, we've, we've done really well here at the shop with this shoe for um, somebody looking for a, a light shoe, uh, maybe a high school runner or a college runner, run it, looking for a shoe that's not going to break the bank but still gives them cushion support and uh, a fun shoe, and it's been great for us for those reasons. Um, we've had a lot of people coming in looking for like a gym shoe, going out New Year's resolution, and they've really enjoyed this shoe. So it's quite versatile, durable, good price point. It's got a lot of snap to it. So uh, all in all, I'm really impressed with this shoe. So uh, stop by Run More sometime and check out the new Launch 4. Thank you so much.